my HK USP compact. The one with the silver slide. I need to finish packing and I think I must have left it here. Yeah. I um I think I saw it around here somewhere. I'll find and I'll bring it to you, okay? You're not leaving today, are you? No. Someone must have made themselves a powerful new friend. It's not every day the guy running the agency warehouse in Miami gets a call from the deputy director. So, the file just landed on his desk. So this is being taken seriously? Over my strenuous objection. But I seem to be the only one who thinks this is a waste of the agency's time. Great, so uh, will you be the one running my review? I'm just a liaison. Various regional experts will be doing your review. They'll get to tear apart the story of poor misunderstood Michael Weston and put you on the blacklist for good. Now, if I were you, Diego, I'd start preparing myself for disappointment. Funny. I was gonna give you the same advice. I'll be calling you to set up the first meeting, so. Don't you want to wish me luck? Not really. But I'm supposed to tell you to stay out of trouble. You're tiptoeing through a minefield. There's a reason spies try to stay detached. When you get emotional about something, even if it's just your ex-girlfriend's 45 caliber handgun, you get distracted. And getting distracted can be very, very dangerous. You remember my brother, Sean? You met back in Ireland? Michael McBride. It's been a while. Last I saw you, you were saving my sister from those English bastards had her pinned down in Belfast. Spies need to remember every cover ID they've ever worn, because you never know when you might need to put one back on. <laughs> it was a good thing there was such lousy shots, otherwise Fiona and I would have been saying our last time we together. Glad you're here. We could use another man who could shoot a gun. Why is that? It's bad news, but right. Someone's coming to kill my sister. America's taking its toll, sis. You've lost your edge and your accent. Hey, only honest looking for an Irish woman. I'm not gonna hold up a neon sign that says, here I am, can blow my head off. Look, I'm way behind and it sounds like I can't afford to be, so start from the beginning. His name is Thomas O'Neill. One of those ultra-radical bastards. Kind of man who'd blow up a church on a Sunday. Kind of man I'd love to kiss with a chainsaw. And why does he want your dead fee? It's a long story. Talk quickly, then. You don't need a history lesson with Brian. All that matters is, O'Neill's supposed to be making his move today. And we're not suitably armed. I'll make a call. I know someone who delivers. I need some proper hardware. How quick can I get here? Not quick enough. Is that him? He's coming to O'Neill. Look, there's the old guy faster than I expected. We need to move now. No. I'm gonna teach the son of a bitch how to breathe with a toughest skull. We're outnumbered, do the math. But they think Fiona's alone. We can dig in, surprise him. No, we can't. That's a trained extraction team. We leave now or we die. Someone's in town trying to kill Fee. Her brother Sean has come into town to protect her, so we need a place to lay low. Jesus. Okay, let me make a call. Thanks, and Sam. What have I told you about my time in Ireland? Uh, not much, Mike. Well, my name's Michael McBride, and you just gotta have to roll with it. You must be Sean. Sam X. Okay, Sam. What's your background? What, we're doing background checks now? Hey, Brad knows me. Yeah, well, I don't know you, so I That's don't... That's enough, Sean. I trust him, Fiona. Trust him now, so do you. We got here? Yeah. It's a new foreclosure. That real estate buddy doesn't expect anybody here for at least a month. Better not take that long to get rid of O'Neill. 
So why is this guy so hot for you, Fee? I thought you bit the heads off all your old boyfriends. I met O'Neill while I was looking for the man who killed my sister. You had a sister? You never mentioned that before. I don't like to talk about it. There were seven of us. Five boys, two girls. Claire was the youngest. And she was taken. I was angry and I was loud. O'Neill thought I was as radical as he was, and he told me about a bombing he was planning in a prep school. And you made sure those explosives never made it to the target. A few years later, he resurfaced and came after me. It's one of the reasons that I left home. After Fee left, O'Neill disappeared again. I hoped he'd blown himself up. Then word got out. Fee was in touch with folks in Dublin. Suddenly, O'Neill's back on the grid and on his way to Miami. Right. Fiona, you and Sean will stay at the house. Sam and I... To hell with that! With four of us looking, we'll find him much faster. He knows you and Sean. Right. If you think you're dealing with him all by yourself, we'll discuss the dealing when we do the finding. But Sam and I are doing the finding. First you say run. Now you say hide. I crossed an ocean to tear a man's limbs off. Sean! There's no point in fighting with him. Trust me. I am not one of your damn clients. So, do we love this place or what? I almost didn't go for it, but then I thought, I'm worth it. Oh, you are a strickler. Look, uh, my day just got crazy, so. Oh, no time for a tour, huh? Uh, well, whenever you're ready, I'll be here. So, uh, you know how this is gonna work, right? Apparently, they're gonna look at my uh, activities when I was regularly employed. But I get to set the record straight. Yeah, well, straight-ish might be a better term. What does that mean? Well, they're delicate issues, phrases to avoid, phrases to employ, it needs proper handling. Truth doesn't need handling. The truth? <laughs> oh, come on. You are not in the truth business, Michael. You never were. Look, partners have to trust each other, so trust me when I say that right now your reputation is valuable. People fear you. We can use that to make you money. Michael, do you really think rebuilding a reputation would be free? Money greases palms, opens doors, buys documents, and it puts Michael Weston right back where he wants to be. Now, understand, this project is very delicate, so let's not break it. I'm gonna send you some paperwork tomorrow, your side of the story. Study up. This is Thomas O'Neill's Interpol file? Yeah, you think a guy who crossed an ocean to kill Fee would have a file with a little more meat on its bones. That's it. I thought he was supposed to be this one-man, ultra-radical splinter group. Well, he's got the reputation, but not the rap sheet. This looks like he's not tied to anything. He isn't. Interpol thinks he's freelancing. They like him for about 12 bombings in Europe, all with the same chemical signature, but nobody can pin anything on the guy. O'Neill has some known associates in the States, or money guys. One of them just bought a condo in South Beach. My bet is it's not a vacation home. We should get eyes on it. What are you two doing? Just put those things away. Mom, wait, Mom. Hey, come on in. <laughs> Boys, this is Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany Ward, Tiffany Ward Realty. Mom, are you selling the house? I was thinking about it. And with you about to get your old job back and Fee heading home, I just thought maybe it's about time that I made a change myself. Can we start in the bedrooms? Sure. Yeah, they're in the back. I raised two boys here. The way they behave was more like four. <laughs> uh, so I think a, a large family can live here very comfortably. This house is just filled with so much love and... Not now, Mikey. We gotta go. I'm just saying, Mike, it's okay if your head is spinning. I mean, first it's your girl, now it's your childhood home. I never liked that house. Yeah, but you like Fiona, right? O'Neill. Why does it look like the sons of the Lucky Charms Revolution are getting ready for battle? Because he knows Fiona is on his tail. That's her in the sedan. Oh, crap. She must have tracked O'Neill through his Miami connection. She went around me. Mike, she thinks that he's alone. She has no idea what she's getting into. It's gotta be World War III down there. Give me the first shot, but when you miss, because you broke a nail and dropped your purse, I'll step in and clean them up for you. She's not picking up. Sam, give me the keys to the car. 
That's Miss Reynolds' car. The keys now. No, don't like. No, wait for this. Then you were opponent. Sam, there's just no other uh, way. Just... What part of Sam and I will do the fighting was on Cliff? You get on my page now, or someone's getting killed. No more ignoring your phone. No more running off without... Right, stop your lecturing. Why do you think we're here? We came to apologize and say thanks. I mean, I'm not thrilled. The bastards stop reading. I'm, I'm glad that we are. Sammy. Oh, please, I haven't dodged Ms. Reynolds' calls for an hour. I'm sure the cops ran the place on the Buick, told her... Oh, wait, here we go. Oh, yeah, that's her. Again. Now that we've found O'Neill, how exactly are we dealing with him? Well, he needs to find you. He wants to talk to anyone who can help him with that, which gives me the in I need to get him and his whole team busted by the police. Well, you can't just walk right up to him. As soon as you open your mouth and he hears you're Irish. I'll approach him as an American with a deal. Really? Sure you can pull that off? I've gone undercover as an American before. I'll be fine. I don't know. Your accent's a bit dodgy. <coughs> uh, the only invited could at least have the decency to see who to do some stuff. My name's unimportant. You're sitting at the wrong table. Fellas, get him out of here. I assure you I'm not. This is the planning committee for the Glen Ann Wake, right? Easy. What are you gonna do? You gonna play me a song with that? What's he gonna do? <laughs> Funny. I want you to tell me if you recognize his voice. Oh, you should be in the ground. He and his crew in the army were ready for us. We need to be sounded now. I own a company. I'm an arms dealer. If it goes boom or bang, or helps unhappy people kill each other, I sell it. Miss Glenan works for him. Yeah, whatever, pal. I couldn't care less about your business. I want to know how you come to have her voice on tape. My line of work breeds distrust, which is why I monitor communications. What did I hear when I listened in on Miss Glenan? An Irishman named Thomas O'Neill has come with a small army to Miami to kill her. You've got a lot of brass on you, fella. I'll give you that. No. It won't surprise you to learn. I can make her appear whenever I want, wherever I choose. Hey. Mr. Magic Man, if you make her appear now, I'll buy you a mighty fine drink. <laughs> I wish it were that simple. But she's doing a job for me. If she disappears, I need someone to do what she no longer can. I was thinking of you. I don't do it, people don't know. You should get to know me. Don't think I will. I found her once. I'll find her again. Well, <clears throat> if that doesn't work out for you, call me. Sunshine. But the Irish were impulsive. Okay, so where are we if he doesn't go for your proposition? In need of a backup plan. Well, maybe we should ask Fee. She might have a perspective that we don't. That's a real estate lady! Butch, Sundance, cool. Hey, make sure to tell her about the quality craftsmanship in the new sunroom. Hi, you here about the house? No, I'm here about your son. Do you Michael come out and play? What the hell are you doing here? Exactly what I said I would do, delivering your studying materials. Here it is. Exactly what you're gonna tell our friends at the CIA. You want me to say I worked a job helping a Somali warlord? Somali businessman, yeah. It's an intelligence asset. It was a real operation. Lucky for us, all the US operatives died, so nobody can say you weren't there. Lines up perfectly with your time in Africa, and it helps me set up a little side project I have here in Miami. What's that, John? It's really the talk details. Let's focus on the, uh, the businessman. He's agreed to vouch for your unimpeachable conduct on the job for a price, which I will pay. No sale. I'm not clearing my name by getting in bed with a murderer. Stop being so naive. You're just replacing one lie with another, and this lie washes you clean. Nothing about this is clean. You need to realize that this isn't about telling the world the truth about <laughs> Michael Weston. This is about getting your old job back. In the end, what does it matter how? 
Oh, and please tell your mom sorry about the drapes. They look better in the catalog, <laughs> honestly. You take that. We'll talk later. Yeah. It's only you. I've had a change of heart. That's me. He didn't say why. No. He just said O'Neill called him when he needed to be ready. Fiona, why are you coming home without my bride? People are who they are, and they don't change just because you want them to. So, you're still in love with them? You ready? Of course. Where are we headed? I need O'Neill to deliver a package for me. What package? A little gift with a big prison sentence attached to it. Let's go. Michael, you know I... I lost one sister. I, I can't lose another. I want to thank you for protecting Fiona. You're an honest man, and I'm honored to be fighting beside you. Glad you came to your senses. Huh, glad you say. I talk. It's simple. I'll give you Miss Glenann's location, you get to kill her. I deliver you the girl, and in return, you deliver a shipment of assault rifles to one of my buyers. I've got a better idea, fellas. I'm gonna shoot little bits off you. You tell me where she is now. What do you want first? You want your elbow, your bloody kneecap? I really don't have time for this. Put the gun down, or I'll have you put down. I'm not sure you've taken stock of the situation. But there you go, eh? You couldn't be trusted, so I brought insurance. Take your hands off me and put the gun down. Boom, go again. Very good. You can follow orders. Now, tell me we have a deal. If you start lighting your like a little Christmas tree, then maybe we will have a deal, yes. All right, that's the signal. Turn them off. Sean, what are you doing? I can take them all out. As you risk you get to cheat. I just agreed to your deal. Simple miscommunication. Sean, they're gonna kill McBride. No. I can get them off. Sean, turn the laser off. That's just, just about The deal dies right here. So are you. Get this thing off me. Do it. Sorry. Was this a dead gun, is it? Talk soon. That's everything on your list. Time to bring Thomas O'Neill's monster to life. Meet O'Neill's signature bomb. He's shot at that thing out 12 times and never been caught. Let's make lucky number 13 the one that links him to all his uncredited work. Fiona, you remember Jack Tracy from the bicycle shop by the church? I just got off the phone with him. The old guy. He was good to us. Right, real plugged into the underground. Well, he's got bad news. There's a rumor that O'Neill's taking you home, putting you up for sale. Sounds like there's a number of folks with ample reason to hate Fiona Glenn and already showing interest. There could be a lot of people. It seems O'Neill's looking to raise his profile back home. Thinks you're his ticket. I should have forced him a bullet when I had the chance. If you had, you two would be having this conversation alone. I could have put them all down, McBride. I had a clear shot. Did you get five clear shots? I think you're overestimating your ability to hit five moving targets. You think so? I know so. Well, how about I... How about you shut up? We have work to do. Bomb makers, like master chefs, tend to have a signature dish. If you can duplicate it, you can leave their fingerprint wherever you want. Some bombs are designed to remove an obstacle. Some bombs are designed to be loud and scary. While other bombs are just designed to kill and maim. Black poison? It contains an anticoagulant. He likes his victims to hemorrhage. And bleed out. He wants them to suffer. Does it for the headlines and the pictures splashed on the front page. He goes at people just to spread fear. Go pick up some screws while you're there. You two play nice. You think you can handle that? Guess we'll find out. Right. Michael? Hey, Mom. Sorry I missed your calls. I, I came by to uh, see if you needed anything. Sure you do. That's why you're in here stealing all my screws. It's all right. I don't need to know. Let's just pretend that you're helping me clean my garage for my open house. That sounds good. So, uh, any other big life changes you want to tell your son about? What? I thought you'd be thrilled. I know you never want to come back to this house again. No, I didn't, but that's me. You're the one who always insisted that every single memory we had here was a good one. 
Or did you suddenly change your mind? Maybe I finally decided to move on, Michael. Something I learned from my son, no doubt. Anyway, I didn't want to feel bad about throwing this stuff out without showing it to you first, okay? I just, I ran across it when I was showing Tiffany around. My model influence. Yeah, there's another box just like it inside in the closet. You don't want this stuff anymore? I was hoping that you would, Michael. This isn't gonna make any sense to you, but um, most people, normal people, <laughs> go through their life collecting boxes like this. I just don't want you to ever look back and regret letting this stuff go. Now, if you're convinced that you never will, I will throw it away for you. I'll just, I'll, I'll take a look. Oh, well, I'll go get the other box. Well, this is gonna make O'Neill look like he's got one hell of an interest in the basement of the State Department. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. That's the news. So you think this slippery Irishman's gonna stick his head in? If we wanna get him busted, we need to put him behind the wheel of his van. If he won't do it on his own, we'll have to just gently encourage him. Look, oh, right. I'll be right there. Right, Sean. That's the last of what you packed. It's such a shame to leave so much behind. It's just getting comfortable. I know you're trained to walk away from everything in 30 minutes or less, but... It's not easy for everyone. I can't believe in a few days I'm gonna wake up back home. And you'll be you again, Fee. I wonder what it'll be like. You'll have your friends there and your family. They don't know me anymore. You're still the same person. No, I'm not. Who I am now has so much to do with what I've done here. What I've done with you. Right, everything taken care of. Yeah, that's nothing. John, you have to stop parking your stolen car on the side streets. It's too exposed. What? I left it in a parking lot this morning. Well, that's not your Toyota. A block away, parked behind some trees. Holding the pressure. I am holding the pressure. Oh, damn it, I can't get it. Where is she? Oh, yeah, hey, Mike, sorry about leaving you back there, but uh, broken ribs weren't a priority. You were breathing steady. Where is she? I don't know. I got here, found Sean, called Maddie. Sean wouldn't let Sam take him to the hospital. He was saying if we got caught up explaining all this crap to the cops, we'd never find Fee. Push, push hard, right here. Okay, I'm stop. How did O'Neill find the safe? On channel one. Hello, sweetheart. This way. That's right. Oh, stop your nonsense, sweetheart. There we go. The noise. Where's Fiona? You tell me where Fiona is now. I'll call you back. Now, how would I know that? Thomas O'Neill stopped one of his men from executing me. It sounded like you made a deal with someone to keep me alive. I thought of you. Bravo. Put that all together yourself, did you? No point in denying it. You would have figured it out eventually. You sent Fiona to her death. I sent her home, like she wanted. What happens after she gets there? Well, she's a big girl. Strictly, you have no idea. Hey, I did this the cleanest way possible. Sure, the brother got clipped, but you were spared. I'm your goddamn white knight, Michael. You tell me what- Hey, hey, get back. Get the hell back, right now. I'm getting a little sick of your ingratitude. I'm the one trying to help you out. You wanted back in? Well, guess what? A gun-dealing, bomb-making girlfriend wasn't helping your case. She had to go. And it was clear you were too attached to do what needed to be done, so like a good partner, I did it for you. What the hell are you doing? You're staying quiet for the next hour. By then, the cargo company I hired will have Miss Lohan and her fan club in international waters, heroic rescue attempts will be impossible, and you can move on! Knowing there wasn't a damn thing you could do. I'll be the bad guy. You're welcome. Tell me where she is. Get out of my way. 
You don't get to have the girl and the job. She doesn't fit into your future, our future. So why don't you do yourself a favor and just forget the past? Fiona is not my past. Mike, where are you? Sam, listen to me. Strickler arranged for O'Neill to get out of the U.S. on a cargo ship. He's been making regular calls to a charter fishing house on Key Biscayne. Well, that must be where O'Neill has to be. Perfect. Those places are secluded. They got private docks. Perfect place to load a prisoner onto our transport boat. How's Sean? He's finally stable. I'm coming to get you. This is the place. He's still here. You sure? That's the fishing boat. Get that bomb in the bag, get it on the boat, and call the Coast Guard. Make sure the feds catch him with it this time. Don't it deny. God, I've waited a long time for this moment. My version of stabbing you in the throat with an ice pick. Is that how you saw it? <laughs> I can't say I didn't know. I wasn't like that. But don't worry, you'll soon be spending quite a bit of time with some sharp metal instruments. You're putting him in the auction block. You don't have enough to do it yourself. If this was just about you and me. I'd be holding a bloody hammer and you'd be choking on a mouthful of teeth. Them little teeth there. Uh. But the thing is, it's bigger than us, you see. When I set foot on Irish soil, it's going to be a whole new world for me. Because there are some very powerful men who are going to give me anything I want in exchange for you. You see? Even a seat at the table. There's no place in Ireland for a bastard like you. There's always room for a patriot. You're no patriot. You're a monster! Harass us out the cause of us by murdering children! Even your own country wants you dead! You're wrong! You hate like a girl. Sam, if anything happens to me, oh, I'm finishing this, brother. I'm getting fee out of there no matter what. Just don't ever tell her I said that. Loading something onto a boat? Hey! 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 Sleep for hours. Michael, I was supposed to have an open house here today. I'm sorry, Mom. No. I've decided to take the listing off the market. I don't think it's time for me to leave you. If that's what you think is best for you, Mom. It's not just doing what's best for me, Michael. 
You hide your clients here. You let your friends stay here. I don't think you're ready to say goodbye either. Maybe you're right. Micah, get out of here. <clears throat> so, it's Weston now, is it? It has been for a while. I owe you an explanation. Uh, back in Ireland, there were a lot of questions about whether or not you were one of us. I always thought you were. Now I know I was right.